with A's All Access 2005. And now, from the Athletics Locker Room at McAfee Coliseum, here's Brody Brazil. Good evening and welcome to A's All Access 2005. Well, the A's are in the stretch run of yet another pennant race this fall, and it's been our pleasure to bring you the games all season long here on Action 36, Cable 6. During that time, we've been able to go behind the scenes with the team and bring you stories and features from places the cameras aren't normally allowed. Tonight, we bring you the best of those reports with A's All Access 2005. And we begin with A's ace pitcher, Barry Zito. Now, it's no surprise number 75 was trying to strike out every batter he faced this season. But maybe what you didn't know is that he was doing it all in the name of our nation's wounded soldiers. Here's that story from Washington, D.C. Our nation's capital is home to so many awe-inspiring sights. There are buildings, monuments, memorials, and landscapes, all here to remind us of the sacrifices it took to make America what it is. But more emotionally moving than any of these familiar sights, there is also this building in Washington, D.C. It's the Walter Reed Army Hospital, about 10 miles north of the Capitol building. It is here that wounded soldiers come to recover after returning from war. Recently during their three-game series against the Nationals, pitcher Barry Zito invited a dozen of Walter Reed's patients to be his special guest at RFK Stadium. Young men like Sean Lewis from Indiana, who lost a leg in Iraq. He may be this superstar baseball player, but he was very down to earth with us as soon as we, he just said, hey, come over, I'll sign some balls for you, pulled out some balls, signed them to us, no problem, it was fantastic. I can only, you know, uh, imagine what it's like for them, but, you know, I don't want to bring that vibe to them, like, um, you know, they're sick or they're different now, um, they're just normal kids. A lot of these guys are busy, wrapped up in their professions, and yeah, I'm sure they don't forget about us, but for him to put us on the front burner and, and step up and, and acknowledge us and, and, and help out, it just says a lot about his character. For every strikeout Barry throws this season, number 75 will donate $100 to assist wounded soldiers and their families. Nearly 15 other Major League players, including Kurt Schilling and Vallejo native CC Sabathia, will match Barry's donations. It's nice to know that you know people of his you know status you know actually care and not just out for themselves and you know they want to give back. Do you think Barry sees a lot of young people at the Wall Street Hospital and that's yeah. his inspiration? It is. It, you know, and it, a lot of the kids are his age, and it probably puts a lot of the blessings in his life into perspective. We're all young. I mean, I'm young, they're young, and he can relate on that factor. We're young men. I mean, I think it's a, an additional reason, well, maybe why it makes it closer to home for me, but the sacrifice they make and the fact that they're so overlooked, I think, in society as a whole. And um, it's guys like that, that that make this country so great. And, and, and I think people forget that and forget that we're free and, and that uh, they take those things for granted. And, uh, you know, it's something that I just want to increase awareness. While all the soldiers went away with a smile and an autographed Barry Zito baseball, it was the 26-year-old A's pitcher who probably received the most sentimental gift of all. You know, one of the guys actually in the hospital gave this to me, and uh, he, he had it on while he was in Iraq, and he got hit. And, uh, you know, he said, listen, I want you to have this, and, and I had this on while I was fighting out there, and, um, you know, I just want you to wear it and, and think of me, and, and this is, you know, my uh, token of appreciation. So, you know, I admire him, and, and this bracelet's never going anywhere, man. It's, uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's pretty cool. 